Today's video is sponsored by Sophie and Toffee's Elves Box. Use Nerdy Crafter for 10% off. Hey Greens, and welcome to another episode of me trying things I have no business trying, like nail art. More specifically, my friend Mariah Elizabeth released her very own nail paint set. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Nail polish! Nail polish! That's the word I was looking Nail paint is what it's called now. If you refer to it as nail polish, you are old school. The cool kids are all calling it nail paint. <laughs> and since I love trying all things from different YouTubers, whether it's nail polish, I mean nail paint from Simply Nailogical, or even nail paint from Mariah Elizabeth. So the goal for today is not just to review this product, but also try and make some pretty cool nail art. We know that in previous videos I have done some interesting designs. I'll try and stay cute this time, but don't hold me accountable for it. Just don't. For those of you who don't know Mariah Elizabeth, she is one of my friends here on YouTube, and she has well over seven, seven million? Probably more. And she does all sorts of weird and wacky, artsy, craftsy things. Everything from squishy makeovers, painting on things, and just being her goofy self. I'll leave her links down below. And when she released her nail polish set, so many of you are like, Jackie, you need to try this. I'm like, okay, say no more. So I skipped her promotion ad for this because I, I wanted to be surprised. So I just went ahead, clicked add to cart, and I didn't look what was inside, so... Yeah, welcome to the family. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below, do you do anything with your nails or are you like me and yet do nothing? And for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. We also do all sorts of weird, wacky things. And if you click on all notifications, you become a grain of salt in the salt shaker family. We do enjoy waving sharp pointy things very gently okay funny story my dad watches my videos on youtube hi dad don't take anything i say personally right now before i bought these my dad called me and he's like you know your friend maria makes really nice nails why don't you make nice nails i'm like who's maria my dad's like your friend maria you just did a video about her you mean mariah he's like yep that one how come she has nice nails and you don't <laughs> You can always count on parents to make you feel less significant than others. Mariah, just letting you know my dad loves your nails, not mine. He called them gross and small and plain. Hi, Dad. I've called you up now. <laughs> In all seriousness, my dad just loves colorful things, so... Let's go ahead and see what we get. Okay, first things first, there's new tape. Okay, what do we get? Ooh, is that a Velcro? Ooh. Oh, it has its own top coat? Okay, okay, okay. What happened here? Well, I think the cold weather may have gotten to it. All right, there, I fixed it. Just to be clear, here in Canada, it is currently about minus 15 Celsius. This much here for you Amerigrains in Fahrenheit. So this package came to me basically almost frozen. I don't know if it would have ruined the quality, but hopefully not. It's had ample time to defrost, so we go and try it. I didn't expect anything less of Mariah for it to be pastel colors. We have the pink, orange, blue, green, purple, and yellow, and we have a top coat. I feel like these pastel colors are the perfect representation of Mariah Elizabeth, simply because her squishies are generally speaking quite pastel-y in color. I have to give a fair warning, I am extremely allergic to Simply Nailogical's Hollow Taco collection. I don't know if it's about the hollow or what's in there, but the last time I used it in a video, that same night, my fingers swole to about three times the size. If there's metal in there, I'm allergic to it. So I didn't know that. So if you're allergic to metals and your fingers got swollen, then you probably should be careful with metal things. Reason why I can't wear makeup. Metal things. So yeah. 
All right, let's check out the color names. I'm also surprised that the stickers didn't peel off simply because cold weather just makes stickers come off of everything. So we have cotton candy, very fitting indeed. For the orange, it's called crisp cantaloupe. That is a good name. I like that. And yeah, the sticker's a little bit peely over here. Again, super cold weather. I really hope they're okay. Let me know in the comments, are you team cantaloupe or team honeydew? I feel like there's always a preference of one over the other. And if you've never had any, what's your favorite kind of melon? Very curious. And this light blue one is serene sky. Green is called key lime cream. Purple is, aha, I knew it. I knew there would be casualties. Oh, it's still pretty sticky though. Still, yeah, it's kind of peely. It's called Pale Plum. Yellow is called Soft Sunshine. Very nice. And then the top coat. Top coat. Not sure what I was expecting. <laughs> Very clear. I, I would just call it top thing. Top coat makes way perfect sense. And so our lineup looks absolutely adorable. I feel like I'm going to have to spend a few minutes. What's in there? Shaken. Okay. I'm going to shake this and be right back. Now that all of them have been shookadith, despite the fact that I am absolutely worried for any kind of allergic reaction because the behind the box does have the word alumina, let's find out if it is actually metal like aluminum. And according to online, alumina is an aluminum containing compound. So there is a metal compound in there, which is like all cosmetics basically, almost all cosmetics. So I think I want to try the blue one. So we're just gonna like move this. Over there. And we're going to try this on a finger. We, we need a proper sample. So we need human fingers for this. If my swinger, swinger, sh wow. English number one. <laughs> what is a swinger? My swinger. <laughs> one swinger, two swingers. <laughs> If my finger swells, is what I was trying to say. Then I'll know that I'm allergic to it, unfortunately. All right, first impression. Ooh, looks very nice and creamy. And it definitely smells like nail polish, so at least we got the smell right. And as a proper warning, just to let y'all know, I do not know how to put nail polish on, so I will definitely mess up, but... Ooh, so my guess is this will probably need two coats. Oh, I did not get everything. And here is my first coat. Obviously, I didn't get the edges because I am so scared of an allergic reaction, but I'm gonna fix that up. And here's my second coat. I have to admit, I am so scared getting the edges that I ended up getting this whole entire edge, and I'm so scared of the reaction later tonight, but I will keep you posted if I am allergic. But the color really is pretty. Again, I don't know how to apply it properly, so I'm going to ask someone to lend me a hand. So for those of you who are new here, because, oh no, oh no, I got on my shirt! So I accidentally smashed this against myself and it hadn't even dried yet. So guess I'll have to redo that one. <laughs> As I was saying, for those of you new here, this is my helping hand, quite literally, for nail art. Since I can't perform it on myself, I have nail, hand, and fake nails. So we're going to do the doing. So I'm really curious how it's going to perform on fake nails as well. All right, Habibi, you ready for your nails to be done? Are you sure you know what you're doing? Absolutely, Habibi. I know what I'm doing. First things first, we're going to take our fake nails. And I'm gonna take one of each, just so that we have all five fingers. And I think the best design to start with is going to be none other than... Pickle. And I want this to be a little bit pickle chic. We're not going trashy pickle. We're gonna make it nice and chic so you can go outside with it. I say now, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. But before we go on, let's talk about Sophie and Toffee's Elves Box, which are huge supporters of this channel ever since I was a tiny, tiny channel. For those of you who don't know what the Elves Box is, it is a monthly subscription box of resin crafts. Whether you are a beginner trying to dabble into it or a veteran who just likes new projects to work on, Sophie and Toffee's Elves Box has you covered because every month you'll be getting a box centered around a general theme. For example, the box that you see right in front of you that I have is the Chinese New Year box. And this kit has everything you need to get started. And of course, you can supplement 
complement with your other box stuff because the boxes are complementary. Let's make something. A cute zodiac keychain. Pour de resin, gold pigment here, and red over here. Mixy mixy. For this one, I've chosen the dragon. And we go ahead and pour it like a soul. Shine the light. I added some black paint for the crevices. And poof, magic. And the fightings, oh my god. And the next theme is the Lucky Fortune Shaker Box. And as you can see, it looks absolutely adorable. And don't worry if you don't know how to do something, Sophie and Toffee has lots of tutorials for you. And yes, many of these molds are exclusive to Sophie and Toffee. So what are you waiting for? Check the link down below and use the code NERDYCRAFTER to get 10% off your first box. And if you go with their prepaid plans, you can get up to another 20% off. Thank you, Sophie and Toffee, for sponsoring today's video and being huge supporters of this channel. All right, Pick, I need you. Come here, Pickle. There you go. Draw me like one of your French girls. I can do that, Pickle. I can do it. So we're gonna use Pickle as a reference. We know that we have a dark green. We obviously don't have dark colors in this set. So I'm going to try and supplement it with whatever I have. I don't know if that's gonna work. But because this is green, I feel like the background maybe for this nail could be a purple. And then we're gonna have green accents and I have gems. Wait, are gems on nails trashy or classy? I don't know. I'm gonna pretend it's classy. I don't wanna judge nails. Don't read into this! <laughs> Look, I might as well be called trashy crafter, okay? Don't judge me. I'm not judging you. And I do have sculpting tools that are also made for nail. Well, I think they're made for nail and I just use them for sculpting. So these are gonna definitely come in handy. But first things first, we have to take this thing and okay, Habibi over here. I never know which way is which. This is the right way, right? Yeah. I mean, it can't be this way. It's too pointy. It's this way. Okay, there's the thumb. And I take a sticky thing like a saw. Voila. There we go. And we have our base. I'm gonna do that with all the other nails and then we get started. I mean, basically the ones I've made in the past are absolutely, I would call that trashy nail art, so. And I've worn them too. All right, so here we go with the first dab of the nail polish on fake nail. Ooh, well that is smooth. We're definitely gonna need more than one coat, but so far pretty, let's get the edges. I'm so scared of the edges. Let's just do that. There you go. And we're gonna do two coats and then all of them. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I forgot to file this part. It's a little pointy. So I think I have to do this. Hang on, stop yelling at me. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Like this, right? Nice and gentle. There we go. So we're not gonna slice anyone by mistake. It's done. So I went ahead and filed all of them as they should be and then put on the first and second coat of that purple. It was basically the darkest color that we had as a background. I have to admit these look pretty velvety other than the fact that, you know, I may have messed up with the brush just a little bit. So now we're going to go ahead and use this green. It's pretty close to pickle green. It's a little less yellow. Actually, it's a lot less yellow, but the, the point gets across. So we're gonna put some over here because we're gonna use the dotting tools and I'm gonna put some here. I don't know how much is too much, but let's just make a nice little glob. And like a so. Okay, so basically I just kind of want to make a little finger on the finger. I don't want him to be tiny though. Okay, like this. As I'm painting it, I didn't realize that this would be so gloopy, but I'm just trying to block in the shape right now. I think I got the shape down pretty okay, but the thing with nail polish, that's not just Mariah's nail, it's any nail polish. It starts to dry almost immediately, but then at the same time, it dries way too slow. It's, it's like it goops up at the surface and then the inside stays smushy. So that's my struggle at this time. So while this thick layer is drying, let's go ahead and put some gems. I do have something called nail glue. And I think last time I used it, it was an absolute disaster, but I have short-term memory problems. So we're just gonna pretend I don't remember at all. I don't wanna watch the video. I want this to be a surprise to me too. <laughs> okay, let's try putting some gems. Okay, so we're gonna bend this finger so it can dry in peace. And let's start with this one and Pickle, where's your butt? Okay, so Pickle's butt has purples and blues and greens and yellows and oranges. So I have all the colors here. So let's just put a little, a little bit of it, a little bit of everywhere. All right, so please tell me this can be opened. Okay, it's open. Okay, very nice. Wait, which one should we start with? 
Let's go with orange. Okay, so just a tiny itty bitty drop. There you go. That's that's a big drop. <laughs> that is way too big. I'm gonna drop you here. There. Does that make sense? Someone tell me I'm doing okay. I need words. No, don't slippity slide. Stay. Oh, that is way too drippy. Hang on. I got you. Clean that off. Still looks gross. It's okay. I got this. Oh, that is gross. I think the clear coat is there to cover our downfalls, right? I hope. <laughs> oh, that looks like a mess. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the other ones. And lucky for me, I'm actually pretty teachable. So I learned that I just needed a smaller surface. So we did a little, little toothpick to put a little glue. Now I don't know if that's the right glue still, but I guess we're gonna figure it out together. Cause on this channel, that's our theme song. Figure it out. Mm, 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 mm. Figure it out. Mm, 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 mm. Figure it out. Mm, 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 mm. So I'm gonna take this green. You know what I just realized? These colors are her intro. Let's see that intro again. That's basically her nail polish. Why didn't I realize this sooner? I'm like, it's pastel. It's her intro. Sometimes I'm smart. Other times, questionable. <laughs> so I don't know if adding a little bit of this violet color is going to help us get a darker green because I just don't have a darker green and we need the spine. This over here, it's necessary. Okay, so we're gonna put a lot of the nail polish because these things dry up way too quickly. Let's put a nice glob, like so. Oh gosh, oh gosh. And then just one drop of this one. Just one, put it here. And uh, we have our toothpick. Mixy, mixy? Nope, nope, that is the challenge. Oh my gosh, of nail polish. Holy shrimp, it is not mixing. How about this thing? We're getting somewhere. Not dark enough. Here, and mix. I don't know. Oh, I think that's as good as it gets. It's like gray. Do I have the hollow nail polish? Give me a second. Just saying. Here's the collab you didn't know you wanted. So in the hollow taco collection, it is pretty much dark versions of these colors. And we do have a dark green that is called green taffy right here. And I guess we're gonna shake it and we'll use that as the spines, cause why not? I was gonna use a different, stop yelling at me. I was gonna use a different one anyways to mix the colors to get the dark green, but it was a muddy green. So you know what? Let's just take a proper green to make the spikies. I don't like being judged. So the spikes were pretty good. I think that green was just spot on. I mixed both the purple and green from the hollow taco and just shuck my way into making a dot. And the nostril seems a little big now. And for some reason, pickle needs to be chubbier, so I'm gonna take more of this and just kind of give him a little bit of a voluptuous front. Cause we need pickle to be represented here. So we're gonna be a little more, a little more like this. There we go. I think that makes more sense. And I think they look really cute, kind of classy. You can go out with it to a nice dinner, I say, with no experience. <laughs> But I think that the tips look a little plain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take more of this dark green, put a lot of it in here. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to do it with some kind of makeup sponge, but I don't have any. Obviously. So the idea is to douse a lot over here, like a so. Hopefully this works. Let's bend all the fingers in and just dunk the tip in here, like so, look at that. Not bad. I feel like I could do more. So let's just put a lot, like a crazy amount. You know, let's let's go crazy. Let's go crazy grains, just absolutely crazy. Okay, back in here and dunk. Ooh, much better. Yeah, definitely much better. Let me just remove some from the tip. I quite like it. Now to seal the deal, let's go ahead and put the top coat. I don't know if you're supposed to shake top coats or not, but I did. So let's seal that deal. Yes. Stay in there. Oh no! No! Oh, I totally forgot this was wet. Ah, oh, dang it. So I removed, <laughs> dang. Okay, you're gonna have to bend those fingers and then, okay, let's let's just keep glazing because that's gonna look like a glazed mess right now. Let's just glaze that stuff. There we go. I know many of you are probably screaming at me. I don't have any experience. <laughs> but at least it's cute, right? No. 
Now that the final top coat is on these, I feel like we haven't made Mariah Elizabeth's nail polish any justice because we didn't use any other colors. So, 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 so. I want to go ahead and make something that is rainbow theme. We're gonna use all the colors in this set. But before we do that, let's first make sure that these can come off. Are you gonna peel off easy? Oh, so our pickle one has come off easily. I'm just gonna remove these. You know what? I might just send these to Mariah. Let her do a craft with my terrible nails. <laughs> and so for this design, we're going to go 3D. We're going to use some fabric paint because, I mean, Mariah does do squishies. And of course, we're gonna put some sprinkles on there. But first, bring your hand over here, Habibi. Yes, yes, don't be scared. Okay, we're just gonna file the sharp pointy edge because we are okay with sharp pointy things. Maybe Mariah doesn't like sharp pointy things. So I really wanted the three middlest fingers to be the ones that are adorned with the most rainbow. So with the index finger, I went vertical. The middle finger, I went horizontal. And then the ring finger. I think that's what's... Did I get all my fingers right? Yes. For that one, I decided to go in horizontal rainbow line. And in order to avoid making too many layers or having to just go back, I definitely went in with a dotting tool. I'm pretty sure there's better tools out there to make vertical, horizontal, and diagonal lines, but I don't know them. Feel free to educate me in the comments section. And then I kept the two extreme fingers, the pinky and the thumb. I kept those plain for now. Just plain. Actually, let's, let's stick to plain. That was a lot of work doing the other ones, so... And so here is our set at its base. I'm very tempted to make polka dots, so I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of polka dot colors on the other ones, just to give it a little oomph. You know that oomphiness. And this is where our chocolate drizzle comes in. I didn't want the chocolate drizzle to be in the same spots every single time because I didn't want to hide the same colors over and over. And while it's still wet, I went ahead and added some of those sprinkles. I decided to go with the ones that are smaller because, I mean, nail art needs smaller things, technically. But I do have also a little bit of a weapon to add to these. It ain't just chocolate drizzles. In this magical box, I have some, oh, oh my god, some super miniature molds. So, yeah, I don't think Koi is gonna work. Bo could work. I mean, considering she has the oversized bowed monkey. Bunny, ice cream, more fish, strawberry, don't mind if I do. For this, I'm going to use UV resin. And we're gonna put just a little bit in here, like so. Okay, I did not expect this to be orange, so that's definitely the wrong color. <laughs> so let's take this one, clearly says red, and oh my gosh, why is everything so pink? Clearly this is not the right color either. It's a little too pink. Okay, all right, I'm just gonna harden these. Okay, as cute as this absolutely is, that is not the right color. And this red is just way too pink. And I mixed my own colors, time to harden. All right, get ready for cuteness. Ermigurd, Ermigurd, so tiny. And this is even tinier. Your little baby, your little baby strawberry. Look at that. And so I used the same process to glue the gems. So I just kind of put them on the other nails since they just have polka dots. They need a little fruit in there. And yes, don't worry, I colored the stem green. And to keep everything safe, we go ahead and put that sealant, the top goat, and so here they are. They look absolutely adorable, very Mariah-esque. Which one of these two is your favorite? I gave them enough time, you can see them on my fingers now. I have to say I like both for different reasons, but the rainbow one is kind of growing on me. So I'm really curious to know what's your favorite in the comment section below. If you want to watch more nail art, especially the weird ones that I've made, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch some fidget toy reviews, because those are those are pretty, pretty hard to stop at this point, <laughs> make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.